Hello there. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back. We're taking the train ride over to the desert ruins uh, just to get started. And then we'll do some building today. We're going to be working on rebuilding the desert ruins that are on top of our main base, uh, right on the edge of the desert. One of the cave entrances is there. And I figured it would be nice to do a little session where I work on rebuilding some of the ruins where you can just, uh, you know, join in. You can watch what i do how i work how i do these things because this is one of the builds that i have done a lot in the past the room rebuilds and i often get questions of like can you do a tutorial for this or can you you know how do you do this and it's very difficult of course because every ruin is different and even if you want to build in the same ruin it really depends on the exact placement sometimes of certain pieces to get the same results so um yeah this will more be about what i think about when rebuilding ruins and basically my process so that hopefully no matter what ruin you choose to rebuild you can use some of these methods or ideas in your own builds that is the idea at least so we should be arriving uh somewhat soon we're getting there we should uh, be at the desert somewhat soon finally catching a live stream well that's good i'm gonna do some some cool building today feels like the weather is not with us though so let's check even though i'm not moving with my train right now i'm gonna set it to morning and i'm gonna clear the skies and then i will be back at my train it will be lovely weather and we're almost at the desert where the ruins are where my where our main base is that we're gonna be working on today but yeah, this is the train that we did. Um, I think this was the last build stream, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, quite happy with the way it turned out. Pretty cool train. Haven't used it much, but um, I'm sure I will. Oh God. Oh yeah, the trees have regrown again. Should not be any problem for us. So yeah, they're over there uh what uh over there are the desert ruins to rebuild oh dragon in a color i really like That's a tough. I think hmm, probably the color, to be honest, because I haven't really ran into too many problems. But then again, I also don't know how good a good stat dragon is, I guess. But in my book, you can never have enough of them. All right, there we go. We are arriving at the ruins that we will be rebuilding today that we will be working on part of our main base over here. Uh, we'll start with a little tour of what we got so far and then we'll get into doing some actual building Hopefully finishing. Uh, that's my goal. How about both? Yeah, that would be perfect. Of course uh, But yeah uh, We are hopefully finishing the the first part of the town and you can see our little phoenix over there We actually managed to find and tame the phoenix yesterday. That was a fun fun adventure All right, we're gonna put the train right here in our little soon-to-be train station i haven't built the train station yet but i've just fitted in where the platform needs to go um and then we can start with some building there we go the train has arrived made it all the way back here to the desert okay so this these are the ruins that I've chosen or we have chosen to live in. Um, as you can see, it's quite a sizable town. You have basically two parts of it slightly connected, also a little bit open. And then the bigger building, which is also the entrance to uh, one of the caves on Scorch that you need to do for the artifacts, etc. So actually a pretty cool location, in my opinion, to, to build on. Um, of course, probably works best if you're on private servers or single player. So nobody gets annoyed that you're building a base on top of a artifact cave 
this is the part that I haven't touched yet. I don't think we'll be building here today because my goal is to try and hopefully even finish this whole town. So this part of the town. Um, that might sound like it's going to be a lot. I don't think it is because most of these are actually quite small buildings. And then also most of them already have like a roof. So you're not really going to build them up all the way like I did with the first building. So we'll see a little bit. I've done a couple of them. Um, so let's do a little tour first. We've got our what I thought was going to be your main building or main base. Turns out it's not. I'll show you what the main base is in a little bit but this is the first building here that i rebuilt i really like the way that the adobe really matches well with these desert ruins um you don't really have to do any painting or weird stuff like that uh we've got basically a small interior i haven't really decorated this place which maybe we should maybe we shouldn't because if i'm going to decorate them all and we're never going to use them it might just be causing like lag and stuff but we do have a couch lovely couch so you can watch door to the balcony um but yeah the balcony does have some good views of our little town or little street right here and then there's a uh, the, the what's supposed to be the bedroom but we're not really using that too much anymore as i said because we've moved where the main base is um there's a little dino pit behind it which is actually kind of useful um there's a couple of dinos safely in there then we have a little side balcony here as well this was the generator room but we're not using this anymore so i'm probably gonna move this and change the sign to something else um then we have a little courtyard i'm quite happy with the way it's managed to to fit this in pretty much perfectly and this will allow you to basically build here so we could do a little bit of decoration here there's a room here that we can use but yeah we don't really need that much space because we already have a big main base then there's actually a uh, a storage room hidden in the here which is very nice because you don't have any weather effects under this building for some reason so it's a great place to hang out um and what else do we have and i've done some more rebuilding uh we've got a little water tower here feeding trough because this is my uh, my stables for all my horses that i've been breeding and they i think some dinos scared them because they're all moved again they were all very nicely lined up but uh, they are no longer so let's try and fix that quickly so that they, they look all fun again there we go let's fix fix all of you there we go course had to go for some horses since we're did i just oh i've just moved the skin for some reason um do i have the skin don't think so i have a lot of other skins why did i remove the skin well we're gonna use this skin a lot anyway today so or maybe not actually because we're not building western <laughs> um wait did i just craft things i don't want to craft things let's see i want to have these doors back there we go and then let's fix this horse as well put them all nicely back together so they look nice in the stables yeah but uh some stables it's always nice if you really have a clear goal for the ruin that you're rebuilding because that makes it a little bit easier in the um creative process of what you want to make it look like then this one is also rebuilt but mostly so we could fit the windmill on top although it's not really necessary anymore since we're not using the generator but i might place a generator somewhere else so we can have some street lights eventually once the whole street has been rebuilt uh, let's take a look at the look at the back because we actually have a couple of small buildings here that all have been rebuilt. You can all enter them um, just to make this corner completely finished as well. Now, as I said, most of these ruins we're probably not going to use, but the entire thing together is going to look really nice, which I think is is the main goal here, just to make sure that it looks really nice, connected, and then. This one is also rebuilt. I tried a little bit of a more desert theme style for the builds here. So, yeah, just trying some different things, some different techniques, especially with these 
where um, I don't want to have a roof on top of all of them. Uh, and I think that worked out pretty nicely. So this this corner basically is pretty much done. It's already built. We got some more runes over here. Uh, there was actually some interesting things here because I had like this building on top of here and then I was going to do a stair down, but I couldn't because it ran into the wall. So I, I wanted to connect it here. And then I think this is actually also a bit of a, a weird part of the build because this connects to basically nowhere now because there is actually no no proper connection because this also just ends so uh, yeah I, I, I don't know about that we're just we're just not gonna think about that too much um this one will probably want to try and keep this one available in case our other friends join i don't know and then yeah we only have a couple of buildings left on this side of the street and then we're already on to the other side. So I think it's time to get started with some building. And we'll do the rebuilding of the other side. We're gonna move some things out of the way, I think. Hello there. So let's move the Festival Suches right over here. So it's not in the way during any of the building. And I'm probably the same for the cart. Because it can be a little, little gidgy. And there we go. Should be safe. Now we have all the space in the world to start doing more rebuilds. Um, and we're probably just going to start right here at these buildings that still need to be done. Now, oh wait, uh, no, actually not. I, want, I still have to show you what the actual main base has become. This has become the actual main base now i still need to figure out what i'm gonna do here on this inside part the first part we have our tech uh, generator for power we have a teleporter to somewhere cool and also we have um a very informative description on how to interpret your jaboa i'm just gonna leave this up for a little bit because this is very helpful you can clearly tell what sound is uh what so yeah, we're gonna go down and I'll show you what the main uh, the main base is right now before we start rebuilding the rest of the ruins and actually get started with some building and uh, we can show you. So this is our main base. We got a little what looks like a house, but it's actually just just two beds because well, there's a rock in there as well. But there, there's two beds. This is where all the breeding happens. The magic happens over here, uh, literally, because we have a phoenix as well. But this is where. All the good dinos are being bred up whilst uh, I'm doing the building. And then we got the Thyla army as well. So it's just a really cool cave that is here, which has a lot of room. You don't have any any issues with the weather because the effects don't count down here. So it's just a really yeah, convenient place. And then, of course, there's also access to the one of the artifact caves. So yeah, this is, uh, this is where our main base is. But that's not what we're going to be focusing on today. Today... We're going to be rebuilding some ruins and we're going to hopefully finish this first half of the town. That would be really cool. Uh, let's see if we can get it done or at least get as far as possible, I guess. Um, that is all that really matters. Um, I think we could start with these ones. They are very small, though, some of these. That's the only downside, I think, on that I have found with the runes on Scorched compared to the island is that they are quite small, most of them. So we'll just grab a bunch of blocks that we'll think we'll need. Um, yeah, I think that's probably enough to get started. Although I do like to use the wood pillar as well, I think. Because that... Kind of looks good. The thin, the thin wood pillar looks kind of nice as well. Um, we'll use this. And usually I use this as well. I guess we can use the pillar. What of these do I use the most? Probably the door, actually. All right. Let's get started. Well, the first one is going to be really simple because it's a tiny boy. 
Um, okay, so what I usually do to get started with a ruin is to line up the door. Because that's the hardest thing to fix after the fact. So try to fix the door. Then here in the desert ruins, I usually try to have the foundation as low as possible. And then we can place them down. So then we fit in every foundation that we can, but you can instantly see everything else would just spill out to the side. So then what you want to do is grab your uh, quarter ceilings and fill in the rest. Now there's a lot of rubble in these ruins, so you usually can't place anything under that. So that's what you'll just leave. And then here at the back, we can't connect anything either. But this is where we can then place in the door just to have that little part fixed. Um, and then it's, you know, just a matter of seeing what we can actually place walls on. We can, if we get to the right step point, we can place it right here on the corner to kind of finish off this wall because of course that is kind of broken. We're basically trying to fix up the ruin. So we're imagining what was there at some point and what we try to fix with this. So here I would like to get a window in. I think that would be would probably be nice. And then here we're going to try and keep the the structure that is already there. So I'm probably going to do quarter walls so that we keep more of the actual structure. Then back here I'm probably only going to try and hmm we kind of want to only have that wall and not the full wall, I think. But I think if I do this, yeah, both need to go. So to make it easier for myself, I'll probably just do the full wall in that case so we can connect it all. Oh my God, that scared my God. Oh God, we got a present. Probably gonna be a dragon. Oh my, that took so much longer and I thought it wasn't gonna be there. Oh my god, this is the cool color. That looks very cool. I definitely think that's probably the perfect color. Nice. Now it just needs to grow up. Get an imprint. A white belly, oh my god, fancy. That's really, really cool. Jealous, but <laughs> you could have just kept it if you're jealous. <laughs> I would not have known. I would not have known at all. Um, okay, I think this is actually the most tiny building that we're going to do today. Um, all right, so let's try and fit in the roof, which would probably just be this, actually. That's a really boring building. Um, so I think I'm going to go for the style that I did on some of these other houses with like the, the, the beams sticking out on the front and the back. So for that, we want to actually use quarter pieces as the ceiling because we need a lot of snap points. Then we just want to get a bunch of these just to stick out because it adds... A little bit of a nice detail, and then we could even have some hanging signs underneath if we want to. But, um, yeah, I think we're just going to do the same thing on both sides. This is actually the, the best building I've tried this at, because it lines up very nicely. Normally, it's not this easy to make this work. But, um, yeah, it did. It totally did. Okay, this is probably where I would also try and add in a pillar... Here not, because then we're going to lose this part of the structure. Or the, yeah, the, the, the original ruin, I guess. Um, here we can probably fit one in. And that's probably all we're, we're, we'll have to do, because that's pretty much this entire ruin. That's, that. yeah, as I said, it's a downside. It's it, They're quite small. Maybe if you have like a very big tribe and everyone has like a their own room. Yeah, it's a very interesting color. It's like a a mixture of uh, green and blue. Like it's like cyan and and emerald. It's 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 such a cool color. 
This is such a cool thing. I think it's because of the... We have the... Um, I forget what it's called. Any any color dino or something mod, which just makes that dinos can spawn with lo lots more colors. And you get cool things like this. Sometimes you get some weird stuff, but sometimes if it does work well, you get some of those cool colors. So I'll probably just add a door in right here just to lock off this structure. And then um, as soon as we've got the whole street done, I'm probably going to add in a bunch of de or a little bit of details like the street lights and stuff like that. But for now, let's focus on adding more of those. For this one, I kind of want to make sure that we integrate this front part of the building with the main part. And maybe we can make this a little bit of a higher building again. Because we'll keep this low so that we can still see the building behind it and to the side. And then this one can be a little bit higher again to have a little bit of variation because that's already low. This one is probably going to be lower. And um, yeah, then we have a little bit of yeah difference yeah it does match <laughs> match me yeah it's perfect it's perfect it's on brand um all right let's let's see because i think we want to make sure that if we have more friends joining it at uh, some point that we can still grab the experience note There we go. Let's line it up. So yeah, as I said, usually I start with lining up the doors because that's usually the port most important thing. I think if I'm just building like this, you should still be able to grab the uh, the note actually, which is nice. I don't like when vultures enter our territory because sometimes all the dinos start getting met and then it's just really annoying. Okay, it seems to be okay-ish. I think we can actually just get away with foundations everywhere, which is lovely. Makes the makes the job a lot easier. Um, it doesn't really line very, very up very well at the back, so I guess you could extend it so that you don't see. The oh no, you can't because it will definitely clip out on the back. That's not what we want. So we do have a nice little front here as well, where we can actually have like a little overhang maybe at some point. I guess we can't really have a stair going down. Or well, maybe we can have like a little ramp just to make it a little easier to actually get up. I think I'm going to keep the bush because I, I kind of like that. It's like a baby a front garden type of thing. And then now the biggest challenge of course is seeing what we can actually fit inside i think we want to have a the thing you want yeah you always want at least one wall that you can work from to make the rest of the building because of course you need to get the grid together so this corner is actually going to be where we start raising the build to make the second layer I don't think I want all of that. There we go. It's not fully lined up. It's a little crooked, but sometimes that's part of the charm. So then this is where we would need another pillar. We can actually make that work. Okay, so this is where it gets interesting because if I extend this it might stick out a little too far. Definitely here on the back. I guess we have to extend this as well. There's a little, little gap over here but we can probably fix that with some beams. Yeah, that, that, that kind of uh, fills it all in. And it's the part we're not really going to see. It's the alleyway behind. So I think I think we're good. We're good there. So now we have basically turned this ruin that was already here into something that we can build with with the normal arc building grid. We have the, the walls there. We have everything in place. And it's not actually sticking out above the original build. Which is kind of the point 
where we're a little bit more free because now we can basically do whatever we want for the second layer i think i'd probably try and make a little overhang like this here on the front because that should just about be able to exist without looking too weird and this is where i would probably pick these thin pillars from uh, the wood because it just looks really nice and we'll just see in what way we can line them up they do line up pretty nicely most importantly the entrance i guess lines up nicely enough and then we can have a little door again we're probably not really using this building much but it will be a very important piece in terms of making the town look good i do like that we have a little front porch overhang now because we didn't really have anything of that sort on this side um, and it creates a little bit of interest here so that is going to be the start of the building and now it's basically looking at like how i want to create interest to this build because we're gonna we're gonna have like a couple of uh, ceilings we can create a next door where where when where do we want to have quarter walls um we're probably gonna create a second floor and then um we can we can have like a proper little building here just need to figure out where i'm gonna have this staircase up i guess because even though we're not really using the building i guess we want to at least make it a little bit useful um, that could be useful There we go. I think we're able to use this. Yes. And it doesn't look too weird on the outside. So that's good. And then we can just fill in the rest. Um, yeah, we can do this. And there we'll need to extend... Oh. We'll extend this as well so that we have all the space so i guess we we might have made it a little bit difficult on self by extending the building with a little bit but that's just that's what you get when working with ruins they often have like weird measurements because they're not built on the same uh square system that all the other building in arc uses but now we're basically yeah we have the ruin and we've turned it into a full build that we can use and do every, anything that we want really we can just turn it into our own little build we're probably not gonna go too crazy high just because i think it's gonna look weird if we just do another one of those because that had a pretty big ruin and this is still a relative small ruin so probably just gonna add like a another layer on top which is gonna be more of the roof shape I think it could be nice, however, to also add in a little balcony here. I mean, why not? Could have some pillars like this as supports. We'll use Adobe for this. Because it's the stronger material, I guess. Um, and I think I'm actually gonna make this a wooden balcony so i'm gonna use the frontier wood as that texture just to get a little bit of a darker color in there as well and because the details on this wood is just very very cool so yeah i think that is what we're gonna add right there and then i'm probably adding like a layer of quarter ceilings at the side so we can start a nice little roof. So I don't think I actually want to have like a whole floor. I think I just want to have the main roof be up here already. So let's grab these for a moment. 
of course the vulture is going to land right into my build. There we go. So we're going to do the same back here. There we go. And here we're going to, of course, have one door at least to access the balcony. Finally, they're getting attacked. Okay, um, we might actually just add some windows in here. Would be nice to get some light in there. And then we can just finish off the rest of the shape to create a little roof here. Probably want to have a little bit more going on with the roof just to add in more shape because it's quite a big roof. So if we just would close it off like this normally, probably be a little bit weird. Ooh, that is very close. Nope. There we go. Okay, so we're probably going to want to have like a uh, little thing sticking out to the side to make it a little bit more interesting. So let's grab... Actually, let's fill in these doors and windows so I can get rid of this block for now. Did I not have a window in here? I guess not. I placed the window down, right? Or was that in this building? Yes. Okay, let's grab the corners for the roofs. I think we might have like a bigger thing going on over here. Oh, see, this is where we have some interesting stuff going on because <laughs> we have the little quarter wall addition to the back. It's not actually lining up the same way so probably what we want to do is make it something like this hello there welcome welcome so we probably want to make something like this just because then that's the least weird and we can have a little overlap back there and connect the rest of the roof like so of course, I remember Oni. Um, the only thing that uh, is not great about this little part, of course, is that you can't really look out of this. So we're going to do a little window with the Frontier skin, because that's the only way to have like a window inside of these, even though it's going to be a very low window, because it's basically going to be in the floor. But I guess it's behind the staircase anyway, so... It's all good, it's all good. What are we doing on this side? Are we doing the same thing? Feels a little bit boring if I just do the exact same thing, right? Um, let's see. Um, I remember that you have skill issues. I think that's that's pretty much it. Um, let's see. Is there a way we can make a bigger one or does that not make sense? I guess it doesn't make sense to have too much bigger ones because we have like a big building right next to it. Um, so especially if it's going to stick out, it's just going to do the same. I think we're going to keep this one plain because we don't know what we're going to do next to it. Um, let's have the overlap at the same place. Also the other side. There we go. We get a little house like this. We probably want to add in a little bit of supports like like so. To get a little bit more details in there, which is always nice to do. I do really like this front bit, of course, because we see a lot of the ruin in this little like front garden almost. Let's fix up the back as well. 
There we go. We have some windows. I actually kind of want to make sure. No, I don't want admin access. I want this one. There we go. So we have the lights coming in. Um, I guess we could have a window there, but it doesn't really add too much extra. So what I want to do is... Does that change anything if I do this? We can see. And then we'll add in some railings, of course, to make it all super safe if you're on the balcony. There we go. That looks nice and cozy. Probably actually do want to add in a window here as well. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense, I think. Let's add in this then. There we go. Nice little house here on the main street. We probably should start adding in street lights as well, actually, just for the, the look and feel. But I think I'm going to have this out of the way for that. So we're just going to move it. Very, very great. Not glitchy at all. And we're going to move it over there. And then we can get some lamps. Okay, there used to be one here. Let's place that back. And I think we're going to just add some light lanterns there. Probably going to keep this open because, well, I guess we're not really using those fires anymore, but. We'll keep it open for now. I'll clean up later. I'm gonna add one there. Actually, I think these are definitely too close together. Yeah, that feels better spaced out. And then we're gonna have to have one right about here. It's a little bit narrow street right there. And well, we'll see what we do over there, of course. We still need to get started with that building. Oh. Our little dragon or present wants to go on a walk. Let's do that. So he's actually imprinted. We don't want to lose out on that, even though we're building. Want to make sure that we get the best dragon possible, best weapon possible. There we go. He's imprinted. Actually, probably want to move you. Right over here, where's a little bit more space. Especially since we're going to be building there and he's going to grow big and be in the way. Come on. Are you stuck, really, in a plant? There we go. Run. Run. <laughs> there we go. All right, he can grow up and be strong and beautiful by the time we're done, maybe. Okay, we we are getting there. We're getting there with this side, especially. Okay, so this is an interesting shape because we have two doors. So we'll see if we can actually line them both up. And then we have... Uh, this, is, this is the weird thing about these ruins. Because if you look from the outside, you'd think this is a two-story building. You know, you've got the, the, the downstairs and you've got the upstairs, but it's not really because there's no way to connect the stair from down here to up here. So basically, it's two separate buildings, which are very tiny. So that makes it difficult to, to make it somewhat useful. But I guess we don't need to make it that useful because we have the underground base anyway. Um, there we go. Let's line them up with the door. So, this is interesting to try and line up the other one. I'm going to try this, some quarter things. But I don't think this is lining up nicely. Can we fit through? Nope. Yeah, so that's uh, that's an issue. So maybe we want to 
slightly line it out so it might do both. Okay. <laughs> yeah, if you crouch, you can fit. That's 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 something, I guess. You know, who doesn't sometimes have a door in front of his house that you have to crouch through to fit? That's very normal. Okay, so let's see if we can just fill most of this in. Also, if this doesn't stick out on the back, because... Sometimes that can be weird. I feel like I'm being watched. Yeah, this is alright. That's not sticking out too much. Um, and then let's fill in the middle right here. Like so. We can't really fill in the gaps on the side. So that's going to be it. So I guess technically <laughs> this is another room rebuilt. Do we fit through this hole? We do. Look at me sneaking in and out. Parkour. I don't know if we can actually also get in from this side. I don't think so. So it's just a fast getaway. Yep. I don't. I don't know. Uh, but what we can also see is if this actually lines up nicely with the front, which it probably doesn't actually. So instead, what I'm gonna do. Let's probably line this up again so we can make a little courtyard here again. So we'll do this just so that we can actually add in the door right there. So we have a nice little door. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's um, just make sure that we can actually see what I'm building. Um... Also, I think we need to take away a little bit of this plant because it's literally blocking the door. Okay. So this is how you get into the little courtyard. And we can just clip this through everything. And it works. Alright, well, that's another very successful rune rebuild. Very easy, but we did it. Now let's actually fix this little courtyard here as well. So we're going to add in a couple of these walls just to fix up what has been destroyed. What does look better? Uh, I can't fit that in here. I guess that's that's going to have to do. It's a very, uh, very shitty, uh, shitty way to rebuild it. But it's the only thing that fits in without building like a full wall. Um, yeah, that does not look great, does it? Wait, let's see. Oh, we could actually do that. That looks a lot better. So, we could make that one a little bit higher, because since the door is a little bit higher anyway... There we go. And then... What did I do for this little courtyard? Yeah, I did this little detail on it as well. That does let, add, us, add in a little bit of detail. However... It's going to be a little bit different here. Since these sides are lower and there's no... Nothing there at all, so we're not going to do it there. Okay, so let's see. We'll have pillars over there, over there. Clear these out, and then we'll add in the little railings on top. Yeah, that does make it look a little bit nicer. Just a little bit more detailed. And then this, this side is very simple because this wasn't really broken. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. We'll just keep it looking like that. So you've got another little courtyard that you could use to place stuff down in. Like you could have some smelting stuff going on here or whatever, you know. 
actually might not be so bad for us if we have like a maybe a forge outside here as well where we can just drop off the Yankee and instantly starts melting before we move it back inside I don't know we'll see I guess technically we can probably also fly in the Yankee all the way into the base so we'll see how much we'll need it um there's actually a hole in the roof here but I think that this would just end up being a little bit too high wouldn't it yeah that would just be above this ground so very interesting how are we gonna do the rebuilding here because we need either a foundation or a pillar to get started hello there and hello there thanks for subscribing and if I add in the foundation, then it's going to show up downstairs. Pretty big time. Like, <laughs> there's, there's almost no downstairs if I would do that. Because unfortunately, yeah, they, they take up a lot of space. So what I really need to do, and this is going to make it a lot harder, is I'm going to have to... Put the pillar down first. And line it up that way. Let's see. I'm not allowed to place anything down there now. It's not lining up perfectly. So yeah, we need to we need to get this pillar in right. Hello there, Ali. Welcome in, welcome in. Um so I'm gonna have to guess basically where i want this pillar to be there that looks good that does does that might do the trick and then we can actually fill in the floor as well we'll see if we can actually stick these on without it sticking out on the outside somewhere it's always the question with these ruins i think we're fine because it actually has a pretty nice edge going along so that makes my work a lot easier actually um also we might be able to solve some problems of not really being able to get here if we maybe connect this walkway up to this balcony well we still don't solve any problems but we connect more things and i like this being a very like connected build everything is connected here um so yeah then we have this we definitely want to make sure that we get in some some walls and stuff here we're gonna have a little shelf edge along there but i guess that's that's fine okay let's see like that sticks out a little too far right yeah that could be good maybe I mean, I guess we could fill in this wall if that... Oh, no, that's too far. If that helps finishing up this look, I think it might. The roof is going to be a challenge here as well. Like, these ruins are quite difficult to work with. I like these open ones a lot more because you have a lot more freedom to work with. These are quite a pain in the butt to make work. But I guess it's it's nice when you finally do manage to get them done. Okay, so this is probably where that ends. Okay.
There we go. That's the shape. It's, it's a little bit clunky, but uh, I guess it works. Shape on top of a shape. Maybe we try something different without these clunky pillars like this. Okay, let's see. If we fill in this roof. It's basically be going to be a floating roof above a roof. So that's not great, is it? So I think what we're going to have to do for this in order to make it look nicer. We're just not going to extend it to be above this one because yeah, that does not look too good. So I think we're better off if we make like a lower ceiling here. Because that will make more sense from the outside, I think. Let's see if we actually need those walls. Oh, we do have a little uh, gap over there, but you know, that's just an extra window, right? Now, I pr yeah, probably we do need the wall there. It's going to look pretty weird if we keep it like that, right? I don't think we're going to see much more other than that. There we go this might actually actually work a little bit yeah that, that's probably the best we can do some of these buildings are quite strange to work with okay we can add in a little window there as well there we go and uh, yeah, probably we actually want to have like a proper wall going on back there. So this is a very small home. But that's fine. Okay, now we need to, of course, make sure that this is all up to our safety standards by adding in a nice little rail. Uh, well, we can't really add a rail to this, so it's going to have to be that, I guess. Did it have any pillars? It did, and it's just, just Adobe, so we can continue that. To make it all safe and sound in our little... This is a really dark little alleyway. You don't want to the be here at night i think um all right and then actually we might be able to solve a problem because if we continue this a little bit further we might be able to make like a staircase down on the side here um the only problem is is that i would need to either connect this but that's that's not great is it okay let's see Hmm. Oh yeah, that is that is gonna be that is pretty shady. Um yeah, I would really like to be able to connect up like a staircase going up. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place down a couple of foundations in this alleyway. It's probably enough. Um, oh god, it doesn't even line up fully. Like, of course, it's going to be like an awkward height. So it would kind of work better if I could work from up, up there down into the alleyway. So...
Oh god, where did I place the little rogue ceiling? I don't know. I don't see it. Eh, probably fine then. Um, yeah, I was hoping of making the platform extend into there. We do have that weird thing overlapping, but I guess we only care about... We only really care about what the outside looks like for most of these builds. That being said, I do want to keep it a little bit tidy because otherwise I will still know and I will go crazy. Okay, so I don't think this extension is going to work unless... That could work. Because we can actually... Wait, is that already extended? Like... I guess it is. No, I guess we definitely want to extend it at least a little bit further. The micro raptors. Oh no, please don't invite them to my base. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, this is this is this is working. Now we have a way to finally get up here to visit this house and to visit all these things up here. Okay, that's good. However, this walkway can't stay. But if I take this out, oh, it stays nice. Okay. So, what happens? If we place that down, eh, it's not too bad. It's probably the best we can do, honestly. There we go. Can add railings there. I wish we could add railings on the side of these stairs as well, but for some reason you can't do that. So I guess we have this uh, weird way where we're going down up to here and then we're going back up just to go down, but it works and at least makes sure that we can access them all in, in, in theory, if we would want it. Okay, so that means three more little buildings that we have right over here. And then we have one side of town done, or a, of this part. It's not even of town. Of this part done. That part we're definitely not going to do today. But hopefully we can get as far as possible with all of these. Um, these are a little bit nicer because they're open. Um, that gives me a lot more options and freedom to actually build something cool here. And not be too... Dependent on what that was actually so there's a door over here and there's a door over here there's actually a really cool structure so first off i'm gonna do what i do always when i try to build ruins is line up the doors because we want to be able to have functioning doors then lower the ceiling or the, the foundation all the way and there we go we have the first one down that will have to be some quarter ceilings. That's fine. Then we're gonna have another one. In the ideal world, there would be some way where if I connect these up, this lines up, but this won't line up. But maybe, just maybe, if I extend it with that, no, it still, it still doesn't really line up. that would have been great if this lined lined up with this door as well but uh yeah it definitely does not because that would mean that we could very easily combine the two buildings into each other but i guess we can't okay well we'll line up this door as well there we go let's see Oh, 
perfect. And we'll fill in the last little bit of these. We have a little extension here out the back. Actually, you know what? We're gonna get a bigger extension out of the back. Because it would make my life a lot easier if I can keep this... Um, foundations and I think it actually makes sense to try and close off as much as possible of this because you're just running into a staircase over there right there that looks good and I would probably add in another lantern post right there Okay, let's see. So, at least, obviously, we're going to have a door over there. We're going to have a wall over there. And we're going to have some walls here. And let's see. We can probably get a normal wall there. Oh god. Quick. We're not going to be able to move or see anything. There we go. Um, yeah. That makes for the first shape of this ruin. Because we definitely want to keep as much of those windows intact as possible. So here we'll have a door over there, obviously. We'd have a wall over there. Um, I guess we have walls over here so that these windows make sense. Uh, I don't know why they're there, so... This is going to be a pretty small building, I suppose. There we go. Those fit in quite nicely with the existing structure that's for sure okay so we have two two boxes basically but these boxes do have a lot of potential because they aren't um they aren't they don't have a roof any or anything like that so we we are pretty free to extend it the way that we want and i'm thinking this is okay this so this is two and a half wide which it's kind of a weird measurement again but that's what you get with these ruins and this one is is too wide so that's good but then it's two and a half long again so both uh, a little bit stranger measurements i guess what could we make out of this? I feel like having like a um, a guard house or something would make sense. So maybe a little bit more fortified of a building, you know? There we go. And we can still see if we can try in some way to kind of combined the two into one build even though they aren't maybe technically the same building okay so first off i'm just gonna create the shape and then i'm gonna add the details that's usually really nice and of course that's easier to do in creative than in uh in survival but even survival nowadays with being able to pick up a lot more than we were used to it's still sometimes just good to see the shape first before you start deciding where to add details. So I definitely feel like um, we maybe want to try something slightly different than the, the kind of standard buildings we've been making. Maybe a little bit more desert theme, so with the flat parts to roofs and stuff. And then, um, yeah, maybe... I would love a, l a little side part here. So I definitely think we want to try and add like a little overhang or something to this side. 
And then maybe I don't make it go all the way because that would... Well, one, it would create some problems because it would make it more difficult for me to actually do the building. But also, um, I think it's a more interesting shape if it's not the full side of the building. So then we can connect these up. And we create already a little bit more of an interesting shape here. Which is also, of course, the door. And we create some shade, especially if this is like... If we think... Thinking of this as a guard post, it does make sense to give them some shade whilst they're, you know, checking who comes into town. Because this is the literal entrance to the town as well, so... Like, this is where you would probably arrive at before you enter Main Street. So, I guess that does... It does make some sense to have something like this here. Um, do we want to maybe see if we can try and create a little bit of a gate into town? Because I think it would kind of line up with what we already have over here. So we could actually make a gate. Because then it would be even more of a gatehouse, of course. And we could probably combine it with the, the house on the other side in that case. You know, make it into one big build. It could be fun to add a little bit of a gateway into, into a town. Okay, in that case, let's actually also fill in this ruin. We're going to be making a, a big entrance here gonna make this into something special because if you're looking at from this side of course it's a straight line to the actual main base so it makes makes sense to want to make this look good and then maybe we can keep some dinos out as well you know as an added bonus there we go that's a little doorway Okay, this is this is a good start to this build. It lines up quite nicely. Okay, we'll add that over there. That's fine. There we go. Okay, so that is the building shape that we have over on this side. Um, that's going to be what we have to work with to kind of close off this little part. Um... Well, technically, we also do not really need these stairs here. I just kind of placed all of them, but by, they don't necessarily make a whole lot of sense because they kind of just run into this building. So we can just have these, these stairs be here, maybe, because that would make a little bit more sense. And then we can, if we want to, we can extend this building a little bit. Maybe not this far, though. Okay, for now, we're just going to do it like this. Okay, so <laughs> all of a sudden we, we were kind of creating some sort of entrance to town here. We have like a little guard post and a little gate in between. 
Um, that could be very, very cool. So, most likely we just do this, even though that kind of sticks into the building. But again, we can. I mean, we'll have a little bit of storage in that corner, you know. It's 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 fine. Then what we want to do is add at least a quarter thing over there, because then we can make a nice little wall design. Why does it disappear? There we go. And we can have a little little wall design that we've used for other courtyards in this place already. So yeah, that is a nice little gate into town. I like the look of that. We can definitely then... It's a little bit of support here as well. Does make sense. So we do have a little bit of an entrance here. And then this is basically part of the uh, gatehouse structure, I guess. Somehow, we're making it work. Okay, so somehow, a little summary, somehow to, to make the building on the right, we kind of placed the gate down here and we started the building on the left. That is kind of where we're at right now. My brain is a little bit of chaos sometimes, but I think we are actually building up something pretty nice here. So yeah, if I want to close off that little gap, I could, but I don't think we need to because we just create overlapping that isn't really necessary. Um... Now, I do think that having a window in here would be nice. But... Oh, no, we can, we, can, we can definitely create a window in here. Oh, this is the wrong one as well. There we go. And then we use the thin pillars and the thin beams to create a nice window like so. To add in a little bit of detail. There we go. Okay, that is that is part of the solution, but we're not there yet. We, we still need to make uh, some things different to make this actually look somewhat decent. And we also kind of have this building here as well that we still need to, to worry about in some way. We still need to see how we're going to make this look better. There we go. We can at least create this shape as well so we can see what it would look like. There we go. So that is the structure that would be over there as well. Um, it definitely makes this feel more like a little city if you're looking at from this because these are a little bit bigger buildings than at least some of the buildings that we've seen so far in the rest of town which uh, which is a good thing uh, let's start by adding a little bit of detail to this big overhang because it's definitely on the larger side and I think we just want to make sure that it looks as nice as it can that already adds in a little bit makes it a little bit more detailed so we could actually add in a window here 
if we would want. Since there's also windows there, we might as well add a window here. There we go. That is a pretty good start, I'd say. We could add in another overhang over here if we want to. Could be nice. And again, that adds a little bit of shape here to the side. Makes uh, less less squares going on. More interesting shapes. There we go. So that's some nice start over here. This is slowly but surely getting some kind of shape that isn't just purely squares. Although I guess in this like kind of desert style, it is not too uncommon to have a lot of like more squarish buildings as evident by all the ruins here being mostly like square shapes um let's see how are we gonna add in some nice details to these i think at least one of this these structures needs to be like maybe like a watchtower some some kind so maybe this one can actually turn in some kind of watchtower. There we go. So yeah, this is just going to be the watchtower i think that would make sense over there there we go Okay, I think what would probably be helpful is getting in the staircase. Because then we kind of know where this would lead us. There we go. Okay, there we go. That's pretty much what we need. We'll put a nice pillar down here in the middle for support. And then I guess we we kind of want to add in some windows here as well to make it look a little bit nicer instead of just being like a big square box. There we go. Hello, Mr. Sonic and Journey. There we go. Um, I think I kind of need to know where the staircase is before I start making windows. So there could be a window there. And there can be a window here, I suppose. In here as well. We'll save the window on this. Well, I guess on this side the window can be there. So now we have a bunch of holes again in our structure, but that's we can work with that. To create some window shapes. And then if we do it like this, we can create the, some of those nice window shapes. I, I guess they're going to be all in different heights, but that's totally fine. 
I'd say that's perfectly fine. It's gonna make these sides a lot less boring instantly as well, so... That's gonna be good. So we'll add in that right there. There we go, another window. There as well. Okay, lovely. Perfect. I want to make sure that we add a little bit more detail to these windows as well because it's still still very flat right now we just have some form of windows in there of course we're going to add a little bit of shape as soon as we start adding in some kind of roof on there but maybe we can add in well, some sides we can maybe just have like a little beam above the window just to add in that detail. Um, but maybe on the front we can do like maybe something with this. I think. Okay, let's see because there might maybe That could be a thing. There we go. Does add a little bit of extra detail to this window, that's for sure. And we can fill in this back again. There we go. That looks a little better. Has some extra detail here. Um, this still feels a little bit bland, but maybe we can add in like, I don't know, almost like a little stable here as well. Yeah, that works. Yeah, <laughs> it it's uh, sometimes hard, but it kind of works with these uh, these pillars lining up actually very nicely. Makes it almost looks looks like uh, like I I know what I'm doing, even though <laughs> I definitely did. I definitely did. Okay, so then maybe here just gonna be like very small stables is this too low it might be too low i don't know maybe it's just that you can get in from the side here as well maybe only from the side actually because that makes more sense Yeah, but I don't think I can make it any higher. So I think it's going to be if you're coming from this way, you can get in. Okay, we need to get rid of... Uh, wait, let me just get a sickle for this. Oh god, I... F what did I... 
What did I whistle? Let's make sure that I didn't like whistle passive or something. There we go. I think some of the greenery can still stay because... I mean, it's the stables after all. Feels like at least the, the front, the main road needs to be cleared out. There we go. That can stay in. Let's unequip it though, because otherwise we're going to have that thing in our hands all the time. There we go. It does add in a little bit of nice detail here. Actually, what would be really nice, I'm not sure if it's going to fit in. Let's try, though. <laughs> these, these cards are... They're nice, but they're still a little, uh, little buggy. I don't think it's going to fit. No, it's definitely not fitting. Well, it shouldn't fit. It, of course, I can do it. But it's not going to fit. But the horse itself does fit. Look at this, a card in the streets. But yeah, most all the dinos are going to fit. So let's see if this one fits. This would be a cool one to have parked there because like it's a bigger dino. It's too big to get into the streets. Yeah, that's the, that's my problem. I would I, I know I kind of have to change the height. I need to make it bigger. But that would take away. Okay, this is definitely too big a tame. So it, it needs to be like a horse or like an Anki. Something that's that kind of size, I guess. Okay, let's uh, make a way back. I guess the thorny dragon would definitely fit in there. Let's just say that we made this lovely guy. I love this color, by the way. It's not mine, but this color is absolutely amazing. It's the most beautiful thorny dragon I've ever seen. Yeah, we definitely need to make a place for the Vessel Suits, especially after all the work that we did. Is it still coming after me? It is. Hello, sir. I'm sorry to inform you that I am in creative. Oh. Thorny dragon knows how to fight. Look at this little guy. He deserves some shade, you know? He's a hard worker. Does he have a name? Yeah, he's Sea Star. Sea Star makes so much sense, of course. Wait, let's. Hmm, then maybe we need to get rid of these. There we go, but this this works for him. For, for tames of this size, it definitely works. Oh god. Yeah, there we go. I just wanted him to, <laughs> to be a little bit more forward so we can see his little, little cute face sticking out once uh, when we go into town. So, I guess to make this all complete, we can also make sure that we... I have like a little feeding trough here as well to complete the stable look. Definitely adds to the feeling. <laughs> there we go, we're gonna add a little street light there. In this little side street, we actually have lights. Very fancy side street. Um, probably one more over 
here. Just to the light as soon as we get in. Definitely looking... If you're looking at this side of the, the, the street, it's definitely slowly but surely coming together. Okay, my chaos of turning two buildings into three, it's, 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 it's become a way bigger project than I had foreseen, but... I think we're getting somewhere like this does look very nice and it does feel more like a proper town or sh or city with with the gate of course these this gate is not going to fit all tames and there's probably not going to be gates everywhere but here it just made sense um okay let's see what we're actually gonna do with the tower So right now it's a two by two. So what what kind of roof are we thinking? So we're just gonna do something like this. Uh, no, not this. I think that could work. Kind of over... Well, I guess, no, that doesn't work, actually, because we would need... We need it to be like this. We don't even need the regular pieces, I guess. The only thing I don't like about if we if we go for this is there's no overhang and for some reason I don't think they allow Oh they do. Is that new? Because I I think we couldn't do that before. Because now I can still create kind of an overhang. And just have my life not become a nightmare but trying to be more creative but is that a i feel like the roof feels feels too small for this building it might just be me i don't know it feels small hmm Okay, well, the alternative, of course, could also be to... Okay, and if I do this, let's get my scaffolding on my bar. Because we could... Also just make like a n more normal, traditional roof shape. I guess we would kind of want to have this at least. Because now at least we can have a little overhang. And now we could still have these sticking out of the side. Yeah, size-wise, I feel like that does feel a little bit better. I don't know if I want to have maybe these be wood as well. I think that would be nice, maybe. Maybe. 
just to have a little bit of difference, I guess, with the main structure. I guess if we go for the wood look, we might as well go all the way. Maybe that's the little bit of contrast I need for this build. That does look quite nice. Little touch of wood also adds in a different color, a little bit of the dark darker wood. I definitely like this roof more. Yeah, I think this works. It's still a little bit of a square building, but I think we can't really change that too much. Like we could add another beam. That helps a little bit. And I mean, I guess there's going to be another building right there, so that might help change the ship and they're gonna it's gonna be a building attached to it yeah yeah it's a little bit of a prayer job anyway right like you've got the ruins which is like the old city then you've got the adobe which is like the slightly more recent one and then i guess the wood is the most recent additions okay i think we're gonna leave it like this um i know we started with these buildings but i feel like this building is kind of attached to this one, so I kind of want to make that just part of this. Um, kind of feel like we could just create another little, almost like another little stable here because we have the perfect place for it. Oh, it lines up. Look how nicely that lines up. I am sometimes amazed because this looks like i'm i planned it and i definitely did uh not because then this you know it's in a little uh, whether it's a workshop or whatever but it works i wish i could just place my normal oh i can perfect i love this definitely definitely very happy with that happy accident there um, there we go. You can even support it a little bit more like this. Yes, because that will also really help with making it feel less square. Okay, that's good. That's good. Now we have this building to make something of this. And that, that one over there as well. There's a bunch of buildings now that I've created. I guess we kind of have another little front porch situation going on over here. Um... Okay. Why 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 did that one lose structure? Only that one wasn't wasn't good enough. Okay, well that's weird. Guess we'll do it that way. There we go. We'll add another one right there.
Okay, so we have another little courtyard thing that we have over there as well. I think I want to have the symmetry. Even though I guess we could have also just done a little thing like this. I mean, we can still add that in. Oh, you could actually completely do this as well. Nah. Okay, do we need support for this, maybe? <laughs> no, thank you. Okay, that is starting to come together. It's definitely, definitely uh, a lot bigger than uh, some of those builds that I expected. I, th I thought we were mainly doing small ones, but yeah, this is uh, actually quite lovely, this entrance. I st I'm still thinking of if I can do something with the main building. The only problem is that it, the, the structures of Ark don't always line up with the shape of the ruins, so it might be difficult to actually do something there. And make it look good. Um, Alright, let's see. We're working on this one. How are we gonna do this? So, again, I think... I kind of take the staircase here and we're just gonna roll with that we can actually go down that's always good to know did i place a random ceiling somewhere i feel like i did i did right there there we go um i feel like we could make a little extension out here just to add in some extra shape There we go. Now we actually have the scaffolding, we can use it as well. Oh my god, you are new here. Got all these new new viewers. Uh this this does not flip in at all. So I guess um, we're not gonna. I think I need to get rid of the cactus. Unfortunately, it just doesn't quite line up. Okay, we'll get rid of that. Now the question is if we just make it into a balcony or we use it as part of the building. Hmm. Might actually use it as part of the building to be honest. Okay, I don't think we want to go too high with this building, and I think we want to go for a more of a flat roof. So maybe, in fact, this is not going to be part of the building, but what we can do is we can have something like this. So it's just a nice balcony. No, not that you would need a balcony, because this heat would probably be kind of annoying to actually spend any real amount of time out here, but it's fine. Okay. 
Okay, so what I think is I'm just going to go for the shape first, as I usually do. But I think we're going to use the structure that we, we've used for most of these little garden pieces. So I can actually... Get this shape going. There we go. Yeah, I guess we need to remove this window. Doesn't really make much sense to have a window over there. Um, so I guess we'll just make it into a normal wall. There we go, we'll have a window over there, window over here. Um, yeah, I think a window over there, why not? And this will be a door. There we go. Maybe. Oh, God. No, don't get rid of my structure like that. I was thinking that maybe over here. Oh, please don't remove anything. Yeah, thank you. We can actually have like a ladder going up. That might be nice as well. You know, because that's another way to detail this. And that means that the roof is actually also usable not sure what will you use it for but um you know it could be part of the defense system i guess since this was all like some kind of weird overgrown guard post now because it's just growing out of control but that's fine there we go Yeah, that's probably... This is going to be a nice little alleyway as well. I kind of want to... Maybe we can do something over the alleyway, but we'll wait when we work on the other building. Yeah, I think this is a nice addition. Definitely from this corner. This looks quite nice. From here as well. I think the little extension just adds... A little bit more shape to that whole side, I feel like. Just makes it that little bit more special. Um, yeah, I think I think I think I'm quite happy with the way that has turned out. However, <laughs> that's just one side of this. This is this is quickly escalated to be a much bigger build than I anticipated. But I think in a good way. I think this is uh, definitely a lot more exciting and more interesting than I first would have thought, maybe. Um, yeah, so maybe we actually do a similar design to that roof on this one. I'm just thinking... If we want to do that, I think it could work. Oh yeah, this was the weird size. The two and a half. Yeah, that's some... Um, 
<laughs> yeah, that's definitely an extra challenge, I suppose. This is very similar to that shape, so we could make it into another tower. Don't need the middle one. Do I want to make it into another tower? It would kind of balance it out. Maybe we make it... Well, I guess this would be a little higher even if I make it like this. Let's first see what we do with this building because I feel like that will heavily influence what the other building is going to look like. Hmm, it would be a lot easier if I could actually extend this. Because then it would be a three big. But can I make that work? That is the question. I guess maybe you can. Uh, if I do that, that will actually ruin the inside, I guess. So only this needs to be supported, maybe. Nope. Um, actually, we should have figured out where the stairs are going to be. There we go. Perfect. Okay, uh, does this make my life easier? Actually, it doesn't really, because I can't really do the design if it's like sticking out like this. So it wouldn't really change too much. Hmm. This side is easy, but of course the side that is... The side that is fully in sight is the, is the harder side to do. And I guess extending this way would also be an option. So we need to come up with a design that fits this side. I think I might know what that could be. just gonna be changing around the way these walls look but that shouldn't be too much of a problem this is gonna be the thing that saves this building for being too complicated There we go. So instead of having the quarter wall on the side, we're going to just have it in the middle. Because that way we can still do the same thing on both sides. There we go. See, because now we can just have that. Actually adds in a bit of extra detail, I suppose. There we go, and now we can do these. Ooh, do I want to have beams going? Well, I guess we have to do it. Oops. Okay, we extend that down. Yeah, that should work. Get rid of the little helping 
things. I guess the middle one needs to stay because we can't. Well, I guess we could fit a fence in there as well. But on the other hand, we might as well keep that, right? Let's see how this looks. It's not it's not great, but it's also not terrible. Maybe we can still build something on top of it a little bit. Hmm. like maybe we just add like a little little bit of shade like this you know like not a full roof and also not on the entire thing just a part of it uh no maybe instead actually the better way to have this would be To have it from this side, I think. But I would kind of need this. This snap point as well. I guess we're going to always have the overlap on one side. There we go, a little roof like that. Adds in a little bit of detail. Without having to go too crazy. There we go. I think that works because it just adds a little bit extra without going too crazy like they just added a little bit of uh, shelter on top because it's basically just like a guard post um i think we probably want to have these around as well there we go All right, that almost brings together this front piece. So I guess we just make another tower there. Do we actually want to be higher? I think. I think this is the top part is going to be the wood part already because otherwise it's too high. There we go. Like that. Just take out everything we need first before we skin it up. I guess these corners wouldn't be these pillars then. Because we didn't do that on the other side either. Um, I guess no pillar here because that would just complicate things, I guess. So all we would do is... There we 
we go. And we'll have the scaffolding on top. There we go. That's the start. And another roof like this. I guess now we can take out the skin. Because I think we've placed everything that needs to change. Like this. Like that. go just the corners very nice Okay, there we go. So that's basically the same same roof there. Yeah, this does look kind of cool because it is it isn't symmetrical, but it still feels tied together because we have somewhat of the same design going on. I think we're going to have a layer of beams across this one as well. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to do a window here. Oh, I guess that all depends on the staircase up there. We'll see. Oh, I guess I can't make it if I do it there. Okay, need to have the staircase somewhere else. Give me a chance. There we go. That should work. Perfect. And we'll make sure we have a pillar going down there as well. So now we can see. Yeah, we can definitely add in the window over here. That should not be any problem. I think probably does not make sense to have a window on this side. Here we can actually have another window, which is nice. Because that will be looking out over the town. And then I guess here it also doesn't make too much sense to have a window because the staircase. I guess we might as well do the same little thing that the quarter wall is in the middle because that just looks nicer as well as a design. There we go. Yeah, definitely does look nicer if you do it like that. So we'll do the same over here, I suppose. Fill this all in. Get some pillars there. And then we can change this up to actually get the windows in there. There we go. The same over here. And there we have it. That is the design done. Yeah, this has definitely come out very, very nicely. Way bigger than I expected when I started these builds. But um, I think this was the only right decision here. Because this feels like a proper entrance to or little desert ruins town 
uh, which is quite exciting in my opinion now we do need to make a little like i don't know what that would be um a little house there and i guess we have another one here as well but that will add in tie everything together those probably will be quite small buildings yeah, this is uh this is was a bigger project than i first envisioned when we started the stream and i said we might be able to get this whole town or this part of the town done today i think i was a little bit um yeah optimistic for sure but we did do a great job we have made a great addition that is for sure um so we do have a few buildings left. So we have these two smaller ones right here on the front on both sides. Probably not going to make them in too big of buildings, but we'll see what makes sense in those spots as well. I don't think we can do much with this tower. It is pretty much intact. I don't think we can still go inside this. So I don't think I'll do too much with those. Uh, probably also not too much with these. I guess we could add in like a bigger gate but then we need to connect everything and i'm not sure if that's gonna work that's just out of curiosity yeah that was a big project we started i thought we were just starting two buildings oh my god wait a minute so this actually kind of lines up it's a shame it's a big bit bigger than the existing structure but in in theory i, I don't know if i like it let's see I guess in theory this is this is in fact an option let's let me say that doesn't look too bad it lines up all right The only problem is then you would have to really start walling everything off for this to make sense. And I don't think it makes a lot of sense. I do not often like walls unless you can really, really make them look nice. Um, can I please remove this or just... But it does line up, so it. I guess it is... Oh, jeez. I guess it is a possibility, but... Yeah. I'm not gonna wall the whole place off, so I feel like a big gate doesn't make a lot of sense. Also, I think having this view, where you can kind of see the town, looks a lot nicer as well. Yeah, this is definitely uh, coming together. Look at this. It's looking like a proper little town or city from here. There's no, no ruins anymore. This is a home. This is a base. Alright, let's see. I think my dragon might be... Is it fully grown? No, not yet. We're getting close. So, we haven't built long enough for it to fully grown. But I guess we were already... We already had started at a point. But we did add a lot. Like... Let's see, we added this, <laughs> this very little tiny build. This one I still thought I was able to do this all. We added this one, slightly bigger, bigger building. We added these two right here. And then, then it escalated. Then it escalated quite quickly into these big buildings. But, oh my god, timed dragon was not paid actor, no paid actor. That, that's just, just coincidence, but... Yeah, it does tie the place together, for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. Alright, that's cool. Look at this, we got a phoenix. 
Phoenix is so cool. It's a it's a, a pain to get, like very difficult to find. But once you get it, it's it's pretty damn cool. Okay, let me not uh, lose all Phoenix. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, gonna park it down. All right, well, I think um, I'm probably not gonna be able to finish the rest of the builds. So I think we're gonna keep it here for building. We do have a couple of them left here. Not too big ones. I think it would be nice to make like a Vessel of Suches stable somewhere. I don't actually know if we have like a bigger structure left. This one seems decent size and we could have like a stable next to it for the Vessel of Suches. This is also like a little courtyard here. So there's definitely some options to still do some bigger builds where we can make it fit but this was already quite exciting i hope it also gave a little bit of an insight to how i do ruins as you can see ruins can be unpredictable your plan can completely change but it is a lot of fun and it is very rewarding once you get to that final stage where you're like yes i think i'm pretty much done and i don't even think that i am at the stage where i am pretty much done because there's so many little details I could still add, like some, some barrels here and there to add some extra details. Of course, making sure that the lights are powered will help a lot. Having some hanging signs with like guard posts or, you know, adding details like that, bringing the whole town to life is gonna, gonna bring a lot to this place. But I think we definitely did, um, did some good progress today. And hopefully you were able to somewhat follow my thinking process it is very difficult this is that this is actually why i've not made a, a proper story i've done a, build, a video about how i rebuild ruins but um yeah it's just dif it's difficult because it's basically very different for each specific ruin and it's very hard to do the exact same thing because it basically comes all down to the first the first foundation piece you place uh kind of decides the whole way you can rebuild something but this is definitely been a very very nice cool addition to to our town to our city it's definitely coming together anyway i really hope you enjoyed as well i'm gonna take my train back because um well i keep it at my western town but i just wanted to use it for the intro for like the, the starting soon screen so whilst we're ending it here we're just gonna take the train, drive away. I'm at some point gonna have to build a train station here as well. But uh, yeah, that was a fun stream. We built a bunch of things, uh, some good additions, some some very fun additions to the town. Definitely starting to come together. Look at that. That looks very cool. The only the only uh, slight downside I have that in most of the desert it's very hard to find like. A good flat spot because i kind of want to build a pyramid and at first i really wanted to build it next to the town it's like a big highlight next to the build we have a big pyramid but i i'm not sure if it's flat enough and i kind of would have want a, the first layer to be foundations because thames seem to have the least amount of problems to have a big pyramid oh, i'm not allowed to build a pyramid here i guess <laughs> no I'm not allowed to build a pyramid, but I don't think the, the terrain suits it anyway, because it's quite steep around our build base anyway. Like, it's it's very, very steep. So, I think it's going to be pretty much impossible, but I might look if I can find, like, a different location where I can build a pyramid. Probably more fun, actually, to build it somewhere else anyway. To have some more spots across the map, because we're probably not going to be spending as long on scorched earth as we had on the island so probably not gonna have the same amount of crazy bases here but i feel like building a pyramid would be nice but then again 
I still need to do so much work on this desert town. I have so much more work to do on my western town, the one we're going to end up eventually. Well, I don't know if we'll steam for that long because it's quite boring to just wait and see me ride this train. But uh, yeah, there will probably be more sh build streams very soon. Might stream tomorrow. That's probably going to be survival, although it might be some building if I don't know what to do with survival. We'll see what happens there. Um, and if you enjoy, make sure that you're subscribed, like this stream, that really helps me out a ton. And of course, if you want to support even more, you can always consider becoming a member, uh, tier 2 members, Jedi Knights. Actually get early access to all of the new videos that I post. And there's going to be some cool videos coming up, because... Um, I, I think probably tomorrow I'm going to try and uh, record my ultimate modern tech base tutorial as well. For like the big, big ass modern build that I did a while ago. Uh, and there's a bunch more cool stuff to come, of course. So, yeah. Exciting things. And if you're looking for a PvE server to play on, you want to have a lovely community with a lot of cool builds as well. Feel free to join the Discord for more info on how to join my servers. We've got the island, we've got Scorched Earth, and uh, yeah, the heat has been going on for a little bit. You're late to the party. Uh, but yeah, we've got a lovely little community cluster where you can join. Uh, it's free to join, and it's actually really nice. There's a lot of nice people there. So if you don't have a server yet where you can play, that might be a great place to join as well. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you around in the next video or next stream. Goodbye.